Astrium is the number one space company in Europe and we're number three in the world. We have about 3,500 employees. We're based on two major sites, one here at Stevenage and one at Portsmouth. We provide secure telecommunication services. We have a prime engineering capability in support of Earth observation and science spacecraft. We have a capacity to produce nominally six spacecraft per year. That gives us an annual turnover in the order of 500 million pounds. One of our prime outputs from our Stevenage and Portsmouth factories is our range of telecommunication satellites. We both manufacture and assemble them. There's a lot of people out there that don't realise how often we use telecommunication satellites and satellites of various descriptions for everyday life. Our telecommunication satellites provide such services as direct-to-home TV, so for example, when you sit at home and watch your satellite TV, the chances are it's one of our satellites that's providing that signal. Currently here at Stevenage, we're assembling a spacecraft called Aeolus. Aeolus is the Greek god of the winds, and this spacecraft is actually there to measure wind speed through the atmosphere. Why do we want to do it? Because in the last 10 years, the data from space generated on the atmosphere has enabled the weather forecasters to improve their predictions by 25%. Particular challenges for us in space engineering are the harsh environment that our products have to survive. High levels of acceleration, very high forces, vibration levels, a very hard vacuum environment, to high levels of radiation, which the electronics have to survive, and particularly wide-ranging temperatures. And all of this has an impact in terms of the design and the variables that we use to support our product. These have to be right first time. We cannot service them. The Earth observation satellites will pick up landmass, contours. We're looking at flooding, supporting flooding. So for example, from space, particularly where you have a local earthquake, local disaster, it's very easy to get high resolution optical images off the area to help in terms of the local support but also to provide communications. Without the space facility and Astrium, we wouldn't be able to provide those services. The UK space sector is worth about eight billion pounds a year to the UK economy, and effectively contributes somewhere off the order of 70,000 jobs. So we've got a very, very good position, and we've already launched the Hylas satellite, which is providing broadband capability. To have a satellite which can deliver you broadband directly into the areas where fibre optics or other means are, are impossible is, I think, one of the significant growth areas. Coming in as an apprentice enables you to build a great foundation and that enables you to, to progress quite well within the company. You get into solving problems, you're looking for the engineering solution and you get this great feeling of success. Working in the space industry gives you that variety of work from the telecommunications to working on things such as the earth observation missions and also the science missions which are boldly going to the furthest extremes of the, the universe. I come to work because I like to have fun. It's fun in terms of the problem solving, the realisation of a solution and then the delivery of that solution and seeing in effect a happy customer. I really enjoy the job that I do. I find that we are on the edge of technology. It's extremely exciting working in the space industry. Astrium is a successful manufacturing company. It comes down to the investment that we make in our people and also the fact that there is a strong element of pride and teamwork that we have within the company. I think it's an overall fascinating environment to be in.